Well, welcome and thank you everyone for uh, oh. coming to our annual 2012 47s Olight SHOT Show press conference. And uh, we'd like to continue doing this annual presentation to bring everyone up to speed of what we've done in the past year and what we plan to do in the, in the, the coming year. Um, I think the SHOT Show venue is a great uh, way to launch the new year and um, it is a great opportunity to communicate with everyone about what we're doing and we're gonna, we've done what we were, we're gonna do. <laughs> so uh, we had a great 2011, accomplished some, some absolutely awesome things and uh, we're making some incredible plans for 2012 and we intend to accomplish so much more. So today we'll talk a little bit about um, 4.7's uh, history, vision and goals, particularly with the new branding. Um, We'll talk about the branding transition, uh, as well as <clears throat> uh, our plan for 2012, and then lastly we'll mention three to four specific releases for 2012. Some are immediate and some will roll in for the 2012 year. Um, <clears throat> so the first thing you see is uh, our new uh, logo, the new 4.7's logo. Isn't that pretty? That's <laughs> slick. We, um, we brought in a, uh, an agency to help uh, re-look at everything with, related to, to our company. Not just, not just the, the marketing, the logo, but um, this agency came in and we, we looked at our history, what we've done, the very uh, core values of our company. And uh, this happened over several months and we deliberated over every detail of, of our company from, from uh, our branding, obviously, and uh, how we present our products, and um, it was quite a monumental task for 2011. And, you know, we, this is our uh, fifth year in business, and uh, somewhat um, our, our branding has been weaker than our, our products. It's, it, the, you know, it, it wasn't as strong of a message that we liked, so bringing this agency in was quite an investment for the 4.7's, our, our company. Um, so the first thing you see is uh, our company name. There's a little slight change. The, the number disappeared. It is now spelled out. And we did this uh, mainly to make our branding clearer and uh, avoid confusion, which we've had in the past. But uh, it's very bold, simple, and just striking. And you'll see uh, our logos will show up in a different these kind of four different uh, uh, examples here, either a, a reverse or, 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 or uh, just the four seven. But if you look at it, well, what's most apparent? It's the lightning bolt, right? And the lightning bolt, you know, has some allusion to, to, to light, to energy, to um, vitality, you know, just spontaneous, spont spontaneity. And uh, we want it to be incorporated in that part of our logo. But if you look at it, not, sometimes we don't catch it, but you see the four and the seven? It's right there. So this, this logo, you know, I, I really like it. It just, it just, we're sticking with it, you know. <laughs> this, is, uh, this will encompass uh, uh, our brand and uh, be able to communicate much better to our customers, your customers, um, of what we're about. So you'll see in, in various uh, kind of uh, versions here, but here you see, you see the logo with a nice abstract background. So we turn this on again. Oops. Um, <clears throat> firstly, um, actually I'll scroll back here. <laughs> well, um, a little bit about our our. Uh, about our company, you know, um, a lot of people will ask, hey, well, you know, so what's changed? Um, are you guys, what's different, you know? And I, I like to say, 4.7's came out uh, from the desire to revolutionize and redefine everything about flashlights. Um, that was the very core of our, our, very, our very beginning. Um, we challenged the status quo by introducing technological innovations to the industry. 
from um, offering the brightest, most efficient LEDs in our flashlights to designing more intelligent, intuitive interfaces, or simply by making performance flashlights more affordable and accessible to people. Um, we're constantly pushing the boundaries of what is expected from LED illumination, portable illumination. And uh, our relentless passion for innovation will drive our success in the future. <clears throat> so, you see, we're the same company as before. We haven't changed. But what we've done is refine our brand image and our message to uh, better match our revolutionary products. So we did this by bringing this agency and every aspect, even how we present the product, the photography, we wanted people to, to really, um, really get to our, our be able to uh, get the message. You know? If you look at our catalog, we brought a bunch of catalogs, make sure you grab some on the way out. Um, we spent a lot of effort in that. You see the, the I didn't bring one. But uh, every product has its own page in actual size. And uh, there's, there's so, the lighting, there's, there's so much detail that you, you can almost taste the texture of the flashlight. You know? So all this was in, in consideration when we were rebranding. You know? um, it was quite an investment. And I, I feel like for the future, it's definitely worth it. <clears throat> so um, on to... Uh, a little bit about our, our vision. You know, every single product we released in the last three years was rooted in innovation. Um, if it's not unique, it, I mean, we, it had unique uh, attributes and functions never offered in the marketplace before. Um, we've, we've canned so many prototypes and products simply because um, it did provide something novel or solve a specific uh, problem that was, you know, that, that the market didn't offer. <clears throat> so, two examples. Over the last year, a lot of customers have been asking us again and again, what about a headlamp? You know, there's so many headlamps out there. What about four sevens? Um, <clears throat> well, uh, happy to say we've been working on one for over, over, over the year and um, about three different ones we're looking to, but we are on the verge of uh, finalizing a headlamp that's capable of putting out 2,000 lumens in a headlamp. Sorry, I don't have any prototypes to show you, and I, if I did, I wouldn't bring it here. But um, uh, that kind of, uh, we, we want to put out products that just redefine and just um, blow out what the, what, what what the market has, and uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, there's so many uh, headlamps on the market today. Most of them are, are uh, plastic, made to, to mainly generate revenue. But uh, our headlamps, this this particular headlamp will be uh, will be one of a kind, and won't you won't see this uh, anywhere in the market. A lot of things that are pending are patents that are waiting to be cleared before we can actually released such a product. Another thing is a, a weapon light, a pistol light that uh, we've been working for um, nearly two years. Proto prototypes have been made, remade, but uh, we're not ready until it's perfect, unique, and nothing less than awesome. <coughs> um, we intend to release some more information later this year, and uh, it will be unlike any pistol light that's ever been made or dreamed of. <coughs> so let's... Uh, a little bit about here. So this is elements of uh, our new branding. Radical. <laughs> I mean, we, we've always been radical, but now we, this is the message we want to convey with our brand. And brilliant, right? Brilliant, not just light, but smart, efficient, and uh, intuitive. Um, so let me press on a little bit more. Um, so. A little bit, uh, let me mention here, part of the branding also is we're launching a new website uh, to match our catalog and every aspect of our, our products. And um, uh, here's that's an example of the photography I was telling about you earlier. Um, anyway, it's going to be, it's, it presents the product much better. 
So we have a professional graphic artists that are designing all these elements here. And these are just, just examples that we've uh, worked on. Actually, these images are in our, our catalog, so I'm just giving out examples. Here's an example of our web page. Uh, um, it's actually still being worked on, but um, it should should have it launched by tomorrow. So you have to wait till tomorrow to take a look at our website. It's a splash page, a new four sevens. Um, a, a lineup will have a, a light finder feature that will help people um, match their application with the lights that we offer. And um, so we're redefining the way we present ourselves as well. But I wish I could show a, a live demonstration, but not today. But tomorrow, go on the website and check it out. Here's a couple of shots here. Up top is a, is an accessory. But anyway, check it out tomorrow. This is a, a slide with our uh, catalog. This projector really doesn't do justice, so make sure you grab them. Packaging, uh, we are going more green with the easier going packaging instead of the heavy stuff we had before, but even the packaging is going to communicate better our brand and what exactly the, the technology that's involved in our lights. Okay. Oops. Okay. So right now I'd like to bring in someone uh, from Cree, Lawrence, and he'll uh, talk a little about Cree, which is the LED we, we use. Hi, my name is Lawrence Lee. I am the uh, uh, major accounts manager in the Western United States for Cree. Uh, basically, my uh, my uh, colleagues and I are always excited about manufacturers uh, using our products to create awe-inspiring final products. And uh, David uh, and his team at Four Sevens have assembled uh, quite a lineup of awe-inspiring flashlights uh, that uh, we are. Always, yeah, we are always uh, impressed with uh, what you're seeing with the branding. We like that as well, but I want to kind of bring you back to the products as well. His product lineup is extremely impressive. Uh, what we always talk about with choosing the right LED, that's only part of the, uh, the equation here. A bigger part is choosing the right optical solution to get the light where it needs to go. And if you look at some of the uh, Four Sevens products, the beams that they generate, extremely impressive. Putting the light where it needs to be. Using also, uh, another challenge is using the right driver strategy and the right thermal management strategy. A lot of people build products that look impressive, but if you leave it on for a little while, it'll start petering out, it'll run out the battery, you touch it, it'll burn your hand. None of that kind of stuff ever happens with the high quality uh, products that Four Sevens produces. So, putting the whole package together is what we talk about at Cree. So, yeah, David, uh, we look back at David and his use of uh, currently his lineup featuring a lot of XML, pre XML based products, XPG, XPE. But we think back five years ago when uh, David was using the XREs, uh, the Cree product that uh, uh, five years ago first broke the 100 lumen barrier, uh, David was already. Uh, doing some amazing things back then. So now today, we have armed him with some even better LEDs. Uh, back then, 100 lumens per watt was the barrier. Now, he's playing with XMLs that can achieve up to 160 plus lumens per watt. What that translates to for Four Sevens customers is a more satisfa satisfying experience. Higher intensity, longer battery life, uh, lower prices too. He touched on that too. Everything keeps coming down. Performance goes up and prices come down. Uh, and these are the kinds of things that uh, David is doing. We are extremely impressed and uh, we're glad to be a part of your story. Thank you, Lawrence. Absolutely. <clears throat> so, um, whoops, that one. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and we appreciate working with Cree, which, you know, over the years it's just been. You guys have been so supportive and and uh, helping us, you know, advising so many various aspects of all the things that you mentioned. <clears throat> um, so for 2012, I mean, before I go into the specific releases, I'll mention some general things. Um, 
uh, in 2012, we'll roll, we'll, we'll be roll out, rolling out progressive updates to existing models in uh, quarter three and quarter four. Um, so they'll be rolling, and these kind of updates will be progressive, meaning they'll be built on, on top of existing models with incremental and evolutionary advancements, so it will be particular, you know, extreme jumps. And, um, uh, but then we also have some lights that are just, abs you know, new releases, the new categories. Um, a lot of those will, pen will be pending uh, intellectual property patents and, and such like that. But uh, we, we hope to, to rock the industry with some really amazing products this year. <clears throat> so without further ado, let me uh, talk a little bit about the, the specific releases. Um, let's see, the first thing, we get this sequence right, is this little lighter here. It looks big, right? It's uh, no, not much bigger than a AAA uh, battery. It's actually very small. <laughs> actually, I got one in my pocket. Um, this is the Prion P0. It's, uh, I think it's like uh, less than half an ounce. It's about the smallest AAA light with current reg regulation ever offered on the market. And um, anyway, this just hit the press. It just got released. And uh, <clears throat> what's uh, unique about this light is that it's a two level flood type uh, light. And it's current regulated, and uh, with two modes. The first, the low mode, is 0.25 lumens, um, just enough to navigate at night with an impressive, uh, is it f over five days of uh, runtime. <laughs> if, if you think about it, if you run it every night, you can have a nightlight for 10 days on a one humble AAA battery. Or if you want to break it down, if you use it two hours a day, what is that, like 60 days of use from one battery. Anyway, this is kind of technology we like to offer to the, to the, uh, to the, to the industry. <clears throat> so um, on high, it's uh, 25 lumens. But in our test, really it's really 30 lumens. We like to under-promise and over-deliver. That's, that's part of it. So we, we spec it at 25, and uh, it runs about 90 minutes on high. I've got to turn it on to show you. Yeah, low. You can probably barely see it in this ambient lighting, but if it's pitch black, you you can almost walk around the room probably. And then, just again, that's on high. And notice there's no hot spot, no flood. It's the pure flood type of uh, beam. And uh, it's a low glow in the dark instead of the uh, element, instead of the uh, reflector. Um, and the, the rear of the light, there's a built-in little magnet where you can you know, attach the things. So, I don't have there we go. So it's built in. So this light, uh, the best news probably is it's going to retail for $24.99. And uh, it's probably the most aggressive uh, pricing we've ever offered for such a light. Um, they should ship, uh, pre-order should order this evening, and uh, they should ship by the end of the month. And for, you know, just for reference, I'm going to show you. That's a AAA battery and there's a light. And you almost wonder, where does the LED and the driver go? <laughs> Not much bigger. It's magic. Um, I might have forgotten to mention this. Stainless steel construction, polished ends with a bead blast uh, body. but. Um, Quite an elegant uh, light. Great for gifts, and I think the ladies will really like it. <laughs> Second thing is the uh, XM18. So after a whole year, uh, we announced it last year. After a whole year of testing and so many revisions of prototyping, we finally are putting into production. Now this will be a special order item where um, it's made to order. You can order online, and then it's four to six weeks to build. Um, but if you get lucky, we might have some in stock. For example, at the SHOT Show, we will have three units if anyone wants to leave home with a 18,000 lumen. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought, it was, I, I didn't know it was armed. But uh, 
18,000, and we, we measured as uh, 15,000 out the front. So I guess I already turned it on, but I'll turn it on for you. Blind, you there we go. <laughs> See, this, this lights up the whole ballroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's actually a lot brighter than the uh, prototype that we had last year. <laughs> so this is the production. We worked out all the, the thermo, thermal uh, kinks. Um, so you, you can even see there's a kind of almost like velocity stacks under here for me. Um, I'm not too sure of the runtime, but uh, probably close to an hour or an hour and a half. But uh, this this unit won't get hot at all. The the fan will kick on as needed. And uh, so after the conference, come up and check us out. Just don't hurt each other with it. And it has the same design where. Uh, the handles have holes integrated in them where you can piece together as many of these as you want. Um, oh, this is, oh, this is out. Um, I have some more notes about it. <clears throat> um, so we have three units at the show. Retail, we set it at $24.99. And uh, um, special orders will open immediately as of tonight. <clears throat> Third item is. Uh, I don't have a picture of it, but uh, um, it's a it's the four sevens titanium tactical pin, and I don't know if it brought one, so I have to just take my personal one. So um, we uh, want to diversify a little bit, you know, offer things that kind of go with our smaller lights, and um, had this thing designed. It's a titanium pin cut out of a, a, a rod, a billet of titanium. And what's unique about it is, number one, uh, there's no post CNC finishing, meaning it comes off the machine just like that. So the cutting has to be extremely slow. And in fact, the, uh, I was told the actual machine time approaches two hours, because titanium, you have to cut so slow to get that. And um, what's unique about it, well, the end, the pen comes uh, in the end with a, uh, a glass break at the end device. I wish I could show you on the camera. But. And then uh, optionally, you can install like a strike bezel type device. I also call it the uh, AKA DNA collector. Fits in your hand if you want to defend yourself or um, hurt somebody, I guess. Or take DNA samples you know, right there. Um, there's another attachment where uh, it's for a lanyard loop. And you can optionally screw that on as well. The pen will retail for 99 and uh, the, the extra tab attachments will be uh, 15 each. So, so what, what, what else about this light? Um, we built this light around the Fisher Space Pen refill, which, uh, you know, of all the, we spent time to decide which one. The, the Fisher Pen, uh, the, ink, the ink refill is unique because it has a pressurized cartridge, so you can write at any angle, upside down, under water, you can write over oil. Um, we chose it because we wanted this to be uh, kind of a, not just type, uh, tactical type of a pen, but also a, a type of survival pen. And um, I actually tried this. You actually will write on a leaf if you want to leave a message for somebody. <laughs> so, and we wanted a pen that wouldn't fail on you when you needed to use it. So. Um, just like fairly small. You guys can check it out afterwards. Um, simple construction. People will ask, hey, why didn't you make the, the cap put on the rear? Well, there's a specific reason. So when someone borrows your pen, you have a reminder that someone has your pen and someone else, the person who borrowed your pen won't be able to put it down or you know, they'll come back and give the pen back to you. Um, so that's the pen. Retail's 99, I mentioned it already. Um, we'll ship by the end of January in limited quantities, and uh, by March we should be in full production. Um, let's see. Lastly, I don't know. I guess it wasn't brought, but you know those little flashbang balls. Uh, we didn't bring it, right? That's not here. Um, we progressed even further. Last year we said what, 2,000, 3,000 lumens. Um, we actually got. 8,000 plus lumens out of a little ping pong ball size device. And uh, that's with eight XMLs. 
um, four amps to each <laughs> simultaneously. So we're actually probably going to put that in production. We'll probably build that in the states. Um, it's still pending, and because of the power density in that ball, um, we're going to have to add a lot of safety precautions. It's, 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 it could be dangerous, but it's mainly uh, targeted for the military market as well as Air Force for, for marking you know, for landing sites. And things like that. But we'll incorporate things in there such as. Uh, Remote control, you know, programmability, it, it's, you know, it's on the list. So um, look for that in 2012. And um, I think that's about it. Oh, there's one specific thing I need to talk about. I'm sorry. Um, specifically about the implementation of the, the new uh, branding. Let me just talk about that real quick. <clears throat> so... Specifically about the website, um, we actually will not have uh, the, the new packaging and products, the new engraving, new branding until April, quarter two. And uh, because we're still working on it and we still have inventory with, with the old uh, packaging and engraving. So to, uh, April, we'll switch over. Um, about the website, you know, our website now is www spelled out sevens.com. Um, the old website actually will keep uh, stay in operation um, until April when we switch over. Um, <clears throat> so everything will be the same with the number four sevens.com. But with the new one, we'll we'll showcase our new products and everything. But if you go through the checkout process, you'll you'll get the old uh, old product, not old product, but the 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 old packaging. The products are the same, it's just the exterior. Functionally and exterior shape, it's, it's all the same. And, um, and we'll keep using the old SKUs until April. Come April, uh, we will switch over, meaning when we get uh, inventory of the, the new product, we'll immediately discontinue the old so we don't mix the two. And that, that's it. Um, so that... Uh, um, so don't worry, more details will come as we approach uh, quarter two, um, particularly our communication with dealers will, will increase and will help everyone through the transition. Well, uh, thank you for coming and uh, appreciate everyone coming here and attending the presentation. And we'll see you next year, if not sooner.